Your Excellency, thank you very much for talking to the BBC. Um, first of all, how, how are things going with you, with the um, campaigning? Things are going very well. Uh, I'm very, very confident and that this election, free and fair, uh, I'm the front runner. And that is why I'm getting many arrows. <laughs> we'll, we'll, come to, we'll talk about one or two of the arrows in a bit. Let, let's talk about your priorities. If you do win the elections in, in February and you're sworn into office uh, come May 29th, what are your priorities? Security and economic recovery to, to uh, accelerate development, to you know, get Nigeria employed and get inflation down. You know, monetary policy needs to be changed. Subsidy need to be decided upon and uh, removed. Mm. Security yes. is a big problem for many Nigerians. And I remember in this very room in 2015, I asked President Mohamed Buhari when he was campaigning about that issue. And he said, well, we know what we're going to do. We know what we're going to do. The problem still persists. What are you going to do specifically? It actually reduced. I would defend him for that. You know, so then 17 local governments and about four states where we have flags of foreign jihadists in Nigeria. That is no more. That is no If they are not enemy of the world, investment do it. I have an example of a Warren Buffett. And one of the richest men in, in, in the country, in, in America and in the world. It started from stock buying and brokerages. I inherited great real estate. I turned the values around. I'm, I'm not denying my wealth. I've not been, I, I was a, the most investigated, the most accused governor in the opposition up to, you know, from, uh, uh, for eight years and up to 2007. And since I left the office, I'm still there. I've not taken any government appointment, no government contract. Yes, but some say the legacy you left in Lagos State was that, you know, you always, you were getting a share of the revenue that Lagos State was generating. Hey, excuse me, share what? Have they proven it? The World Bank has, IMF have, uh, has investigated the record in Lagos. What's wrong with them? And I want to move away from that. It's I think, envy, you, envy, envy. I think you've kind of explained that, and we don't have much time. If you are not running for president, sir, you have two main opposition candidates, Abu Bakr Atiku and Peter Obi, who people are saying, you know, is, is the young upstart, and I mean that in a very positive way. Young where? Young upstart. Have they been uh, governor of Anambra? Anyway, uh, Your Excellency, if you weren't running for president, which of your two major opponents would you be voting for? None. Why not? Because they are not as competent as any other person out there. They have no track record. None of them is qualified except me.